In this video, I'll show you how to add custom fonts to your WordPress website using two different methods for free. Let's get straight into it. Before I show you the steps you need to take to upload um, custom fonts to your WordPress website, first, let's have a quick look at where you want to get these fonts from. So one of the biggest resources is fonts.google.com. Over here, they've got over 900 different um, font styles for you to choose from. So you can scroll through and choose a font that suits your branding. OK, and you can use Google fonts. You can use Adobe fonts and other sites as well. But we'll be using Google fonts throughout this tutorial. OK, so I'm going to break this video down into two different methods. The first method is we'll use a plugin that will allow us to have access to all these fonts directly from our dashboard. And then the second method is I'll show you how to actually upload a custom font. So let's say even if you like this particular font, which is hosted on um, Google, you can just download it and then we can upload it. So we're loading the font locally on our website. OK, so it's not linking out to Google. So all the links and resources mentioned in this video, I'll leave in a description below and with that being said let's head over to our dashboard so the first thing we need to do is install two plugins okay so we'll click add new and then I'm just going to search for fonts so the two plugins we'll be using is is this use any font so this will allow us to upload our custom font and we'll also be using this fonts plugin here which will allow us to have access to over a thousand different fonts directly from fonts.google.com okay so i've already got this installed let's go ahead and activate them since i've got the fonts plugin active which is this one here okay we can just go ahead and customize our fonts and to do so we can click on this customize fonts or if you're browsing your website um, i'll show you in a second we can just click on the WordPress customizer okay for example we can just click on this customize here it will take us to the same page Let's click back here as well. So if you ever wanted to find that settings page, you just want to click on where it says fonts plugin. And then here we can click on basic settings. And this will basically allow us to change um, all the fonts for our general text, for our headings and any buttons or input typography. OK, so let's actually find a page that's got a decent amount of text on there. OK, so here we've got a bit more text on our page. So let's actually go ahead and customize some of these fonts. OK, so let's go ahead and change the heading again throughout this video. I'll just set everything to a random font. So this looks fine. Let's change the body text. That's OK. So if you want it as well, if you're using WooCommerce, for example, you can also customize the font style on the shop page, single page, um, any other WooCommerce blocks, the cart and checkout page. So it's quite extensive in terms of the customization. OK, if we go to advanced settings, we can change the font of the nav. Maybe we want to display the nav a bit differently. OK, we can do so. All right, so this is method one. And I should note that if you do upgrade to the pro version of this particular plugin, it will allow you to upload custom fonts, OK? But if you didn't want to pay anything, then in this section, I'll show you how to upload your custom fonts without paying anything. Let's just remove this so we won't save any changes. And let's move on to method two. So let's head back over to our dashboard again. And then now we'll be using this use any font. All right. But I think first we need to actually download a custom font. OK, so I'm going to head over to Google again. And I like this. Well, I don't particularly like it, but let's go with this font. Add this in a new folder. And then I need to unzip this folder. Um, and the reason being is the plugin that we'll be using that use any font, it only allows you to upload one custom font at a time. If you want to upload more, then you will need the pro version. All right. So we've got our regular font here, which is fine. And let's head back over to use any fonts. So we're going to click generate um, a free API key. OK, so our API keys generated fine. So we just click verify. OK, we need this API so we can convert our font into a font that's universally accepted on any web browser. So we do need to generate an API key and then go ahead and verify it. So with this out of the way, let's head over to upload font and then let's click upload. And then here we'll just choose our file, which is this one. And then let's click open. And just underneath here as well, these are the file format, which is currently accepted. OK, and then here I'm just going to enter in the name of the font, which is this press start to here. So I'm just going to put press start to go ahead and add that P as well. 
and now we'll just click upload all right so this is our font so it's loading fine okay and now we can navigate to assign font and then we'll click assign and then here we can basically specify so we'll choose the font which we just uploaded and then we can specify where we want to use this font so we can use it for our heading tags our body menu items and so on okay so let's just try our heading tags for now all right and let's just click assign font all right let's go ahead and view our post again okay and here you can see our heading tags applying fine if you enjoyed this video like and subscribe for more videos like this and if you've got any questions leave it in the comment box